In this video, we will walk through how to navigate the trip dashboard and the trip sidebar. When you first log into Travify, you'll be brought to this page, which is your trip list. You'll be able to scroll through and see all of your active trips. Up at the top is your search bar. You can use the search bar to search for specific trip titles, itinerary titles, or proposal titles. To the right of that will be your filters, which you can use to see and find your trips even more easily. You can sort through them via the platform, archive status, the type, date, status, which is customizable that you can assign to specific trips, as well as labels, which are also customizable. When you're ready to begin a new trip, select the new trip button and select whether you're starting with an itinerary or with a proposal. Let's go ahead and take a look at the trip sidebar menu. To do this, you can either create a brand new trip or click into an existing trip. As you'll notice, under the trip menu, we'll have the trip activity. This is where we can see activity across this entire trip. If you want to narrow it down, you can click the drop down menu and you can sort through the activity that you would like to see. Below that area will be the people area. This will show you all the travelers who are on this trip as a whole, as well as the collaborators you've included on this trip as well. Below this will be your task and automations. This is where you can assign specific tasks, automations, or task lists to a trip. And lastly, we'll have the notes area. This is where you can type in to start a note, format it how you would like, and you can see who added the note and when they added the note. This is a great place if you want to add a note to yourself, team members, or collaborators on this trip. Below this will be your proposals and itinerary. You can hover your mouse over the specific icons and you can see what type this is, whether it's a proposal, itinerary, or an approved proposal. When I click into this, you'll see up at the top here a similar menu. You can see the people who are on the specific proposal, the chat area if I've been chatting back and forth with them, feedback, settings, or preview option. If you need to make any edits, click the blue edit button, or you can send the specific proposal off to your clients by hitting that send button. Clicking the three dots, you'll be able to see even more options. Below the proposals and itineraries are going to be where all of your other items are going to live on your trip. If you include a landing page, you can preview really easily what that landing page will look like, and if you need to make any edits, you can do so. For forms, you can see all of the responses you've received for a specific form in one place. You can click the drop down area to see the responses, download a PDF of the responses, or if it's a client who may need it resent to them, you'll have a resend option next to their name. Lastly, I have a decision on this trip. When I click the drop down arrow, you can see what option they had selected and I can easily convert this to an itinerary. If, again, I need to make any edits, I can do so by clicking the blue edit button, sharing this out directly with the client, or the three dots to see even more options. When you're ready to add more content to your own trip, just select the add new button, and you'll see a drop down list of all the different items that you can add within one trip to have it in one central location. If you have any questions or want to set up a free training with us to walk through this together, just message us or email us at professional at travify.com. But that's it. That is how you can organize your trip list as well as navigate through your trip side menu. Make sure to check out the rest of our getting started video guide and thanks so much for watching.